Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, and this is day, oh, I forgot. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. For those of you new, I'm Jeanette from Bodequa Sewing and Crafts, and this is day six of the Giftmas series for this year. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to look into that toilet, oh, that was Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And for those of you that are new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. And this is day six of the Gift Miss 12 Days of Series uh, videos that I have on my channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be doing is we're going to be doing the holiday toilet paper, but I am going to be doing the covers. I am not actually going to embroider on the toilet paper. Now, for those of you guys that are really do know me well, you guys know I don't like to waste anything. I am very, very frugal in everything, okay? Including my toilet paper, okay? So, sometimes what happens, and I'm gonna open this up so we can take a look at it, we can talk about it a little bit. Sometimes you see, let me, put, let me throw this out. Sometimes you'll see that people will go and they'll take um, a certain amount of, of uh, sheets of their toilet paper and they will stack them together and they will actually embroider on the toilet paper. It looks really nice and what they do is they go ahead and they put like a little plastic covering on it. The only thing that I don't like about that method is that because you are actually embroidering on the toilet paper, once they rip off the embroidery, it gets tossed away in the garbage can and they use the toilet paper and there goes your design, right? So one of the things that I was thinking was I would like to make the toilet paper covers with those designs. That way you can reuse them and you can even save them and use them for the upcoming year. And there is absolutely no waste. You are not embroidering the toilet paper itself, so it doesn't get ripped out and it doesn't get tossed away. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I actually do this, all right? Now the first thing is you're gonna want to either use fleece or felt. It doesn't matter which you use, okay? But what you wanna do is you want to create a sheet that is going to wrap around your toilet paper. Now there is two ways that you can do this. You can either use elastic okay and you just sew elastic on each of these ends or you can cut it close where they overlap and you can snap them in you can do snaps or you can use velcro either way works great okay i like to use the elastic okay because that is just a little bit of elastic that i add to each of the ends and then i can just wrap it around and when they want to use the toilet paper, all I have to do is just remove the cover and re, you know, and, and I could take this and just put it on another roll. And you know, at the end of the season, I can just take them, put them away with my other Christmas items and reuse them for next year. So there is no waste, okay? When you design it, it's done and you can use it until you don't want it anymore, okay? So let me show you how I did this, okay? Well, one of the things that I did, like I said, you can use white felt or this is um, fleece. I have leftover fleece from when I was embroidering the little snowman balls. So you're going to want to measure your toilet paper. Now, not all toilet papers are equal. Some are, some are a little wider, some are a little thicker, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to measure the ones you have. That's why I kinda of like using the elastic method a little better because you can, no matter how thick your rolls, if, if like let's say the three ply were on sale and you bought those and it becomes a little thicker, it's not a problem. These are gonna fit because the elastic is going to stretch and you can go ahead and you can just wrap it around here, okay? So um, the ones that I have right here is they are four inches and that's what you're going to want to do you want to measure from here to here and it's going to be four inches and then what you want to do is you want to measure all the way around the toilet paper okay mine is 
15 inches around. But what I did was I did not cut my 15 inches. If I remember correctly, I cut my 13. Now there's a reason why I decided to cut it short. The reason that I did that is because this is how much space I'll have. I'll have about two inches of space from here to the other end. And I'm okay with that because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the elastic, right? And I'm going to sew it here and here. I'll just, you can just take one elastic and just sew or you can do two, whatever you want. I'm just going to do one. It's, it's really, you know, it's not like, it doesn't need to be super, super, you know, whatever. But, you know, just put the elastic on this side and then you're golden and then it looks good. Now, do you see that? Yeah, you do. But to me, it doesn't really matter. It's just a decorative piece. If it does matter to you that you have that much space between, then just cut 15 inches. Or if you want, like I said, overlap it and then you can put a snap if you want, okay? And that way it covers the whole thing. It's, it's up to you. The only thing though is that, that I caution you is if you choose to do the snap method, Remember that it's always going to snap at the same length. So if you buy a different brand that is maybe three ply, two ply, whatever, and this measurement changes around, your snap may not work, okay? It might be too small or too big, okay? So just something to keep in mind, all right? But if you use the same brand every year, not a problem. Me, I use what's on sale, okay, because like I said, I'm very frugal, so whatever we have a coupon or whatever's on sale, that's what comes home. So I like to use the elastic because I know if I have the elastic, it's going to stretch. So if it get, it's a little bigger, it, it can stretch. If it's a little smaller, it's not a big deal. So anyway, but yeah, so that's how I do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the design that I am actually going to do on this fleece, because this is fleece that I have here, and let's go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you the design. Okay, I went and I purchased a pack of designs that were already made for the toilet paper, and these are really, really cute designs. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see. See, it has Mary Stink Christmas. I think that is like really super cute. Um, here's, uh, let me see another one, Michelle, let me see if I can open it up and in brilliance, if it opens, okay, there you go. He sees you when you're pooping, tinkle all the way and, oh, that's a, a project that I was working on all the way, all the other time. Let me see. I think there's two more in this pack. I want to show you, he sees you when you're pooping, tinkle all the way. Okay, that's the tinkle away way one. Here you go. You're on Santa's crap list. Um, I think there was one more. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, that's P.S. Okay, that's tinkle all the way. Another one. Mary Stinkus. And I think, okay, there you go. And then ho, 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 I gotta go. I really like this one. This one's really cute. I'm gonna do this one, okay? Because I like it because it's really, really super com uh, colorful, okay? Now, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure that it fits within four inches, okay? So, I know this is going to fit fine because um, when I looked at my hoop settings, I have picked the 5x5 five five hoop, okay? So, um, I hit apply and as you can see, it kind of fits in, in here really nice. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to shrink it just a bit because I don't want it to be too, too big. And then I'm going to center it in the hoop. That way I know for sure it's going to fit. Another way you can do this is you can actually print this out, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to print this out. That way we can take a look at it and see how it's going to go. I see that this up. Straight. And I think it should come out of the printer soon. And then what you can you do is you can go ahead and cut out the printout. So that you can make sure that the printout actually fits on the area that you're going to embroider, okay? So, I, as you can hear, it is printing right now. So, I'm going to take a look at it. Sorry, I think I hit the camera. All right, so here it is. 
I have it all printed out. So let's go over to the cutting board and let's take a look at this a little closer, okay? Okay, guys, so here we are at the cutting board and I'm gonna make sure that the video is going and it is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out, okay? And this is a really good way to make sure that you are embroidering where you want to embroider. Um, okay, so here we go. All right, so here I have this, right? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to lay it on here. And I think this is perfect. Let me give you guys a close up. As you can see, it fits really nicely in the middle of the, the um, of the fleece right right there smack in the middle right there it looks really really good there i am happy with this what you can do if you're making this on a single needle um and just so you guys understand when you're using embroidery software it's it, you know well i know i'm using in brilliance and this works in brilliance i have a hard time believing the other embroidery softwares don't have this capability but when you print out a design, you see how it has like these little lines right here? This tells you exactly where to embroider on. And I really pay attention to that X because that X is your centerpiece. So when you lay this down on your hoop, make sure you pin it exactly where you want it. And when you're going to begin embroidering, make sure that that is your, your center needle is actually hitting right there. And then you are golden. So what I'm gonna do right now, because I have this here, is I'm actually going to just tape it down so that I know for sure this is where it's gonna be. So, and I'm just gonna gently tape it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to hoop this, okay, on my machine, and then I am going to embroider this. I'm gonna use my five, five by five Mighty Hoop, and I'm going to embroider this on my multi needle just to make it a little quicker so we can look at it, and then I'll show you how I sew the elastic. Okay guys, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to hoop my item. I have going to be using the 555 hoop and I'm actually going to be using um, tearaway, okay? So I'm going to put the tearaway stabilizer in here so it can hold in place, okay? Oh, now I think it went in all the way. Hold on. I don't think I put it correctly, sorry. Okay, so you put that in there. That way you can, hmm, not doing too good today. Okay, come on, there you go. All right, so got that in there. Hmm, okay, all right, got it, all right, cool. So now I have this and I'm going to put this right smack in the middle, okay? Be fine, okay? And then what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna put some topping on here, okay? Because this is fleece and there is like a little puff in here, okay? So I don't want the stitches to really sink in. So I need to grab my um, my topper. As you see, I'm running very low on it. And so if I have another roll though, so I'll, I know I'll be good. I'm just going to Take a little sheet here. There we go. I'm just going to put it on top. Well, I can't put it on top because I need to uh, I need to remove the paper. Okay, so that would not have been a good idea. So I'm going to put this on later. Um, yeah, I'll do a basting stitch to hold this once I have this lined up correctly in my machine. Okay, so I'll put this on the side for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to smack it in there. Okay, so I have it in my hoop. So now I'm going to take it to the machine. I'm going to make sure it's aligned. I'll put a basting stitch and then I will actually put this on here. That way, um, you know, it'll nicely in water. Okay, so I already have it on my machine, okay, which is right over here. And I already have it in. I already changed out all my threads so i am good to go i'm gonna move my laptop out of the way and okay so i'm coming over here and i'm going to put this in the machine okay i'm gonna take this out 
what I do want to do, I'm going to return. What I do want to do is I want to do a scan, okay? Always scan. And you notice I do have the paper in there, right? So let me bring you closer so you can see. Okay, so as you can see, I do have the paper on there. And let's take a look at the scan. As you can see, the scan is a little off. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. As you can see, the scan, sorry. The scan is a little off. Okay, so I'm just going to move this around a little bit just so I can align it. That looks good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good right there. Okay, so now that I have that, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace. And the reason why I'm going to trace is because I don't want my machine to hit the ends of this at all, okay? So now that I hit that trace button, this needle is going to go down, and I'm going to see exactly where it's going to go. And as you can see, it's not even coming close to the end, which is good. Okay, awesome. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out. Because I don't need the template anymore. Okay. There you go. And now, though, I am going to add a basting stitch. Now, how do you do that on this machine? Um, right here. You're going to see this button right here. I'm going to add that. Now, when I added that, and I don't know if you guys see, it has a square around here. Now, I like to make my square a little closer. So what I usually do is I do edit and I size it down. Okay, and there you go. And I could see that the, the design got a little misaligned again. Oh, it's moving the square. So I'm gonna hit end edit. And here it's moving the design, but it's actually moving the design with the thing, which is fine. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna hit this again to make sure that it's not gonna hit the sides. And it looks like it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the whole thing up. I'm gonna move it this way, okay? Because I don't want the design to hit or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is just move the whole thing up. And I'm not gonna worry about the template. I, well, I do have to worry about the template. I do want it down there. Okay. All right, let me see. Edit, size. Let me make this a little smaller and I can actually move the square up a little bit. There you go. That looks good. I'm gonna hit, um, hit that trace. You always want to double check. The last thing you want is for this to hit the size. And it's not. Okay, this is perfect. This is good. Okay, this is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add this on here. And this is going to do the basting. Okay, and then once the basting is done, it's going to do the embroidery. So now let's embroider this and see how it comes out. This looks really cute. Now let's take this out of the machine and let's look to see what else we're gonna do. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the finished project. And as you can see, it came out really, really nice and it's well right in the middle of the fleece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of the Mighty Hoop for now. And we're gonna take out the topping and all that good stuff. 
and I'm gonna look at it some more, okay? So, and you know, we got some sewing to do, so we're gonna be sewing as well. So, oops, take this, put this somewhere else, and put this so it doesn't fall or anything. Okay, so we have our basic stitch, right? So I do have scissors that I like to use to get rid of the basic stitch. It's the one that has the hook. I like to use these. These have a little hook on them that makes it really easy. So I just go like this and put some of the basting stitch out and it'll come out real easy. Okay, then I'm gonna take this out much as I can because it does come out pretty pretty easy now you may have some that stay behind but there is a trick and I'll show you a trick on how to get rid of this you know the ones that are inside I do try to pull as much as I possibly can but all right and I do have a little a little bit let me see if I can get that out Yep, there you go, got all that out. All right, now let me show you. If you have something, like a whole bunch of stuff that's in here, right, you wanna get rid of it, take the piece that you already had pulled out, right? And then I'm gonna get a little spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray it just a little bit. Okay, I have these little spray bottles. Okay, let me show you guys how to do it. Get rid of the string. You don't need a string. Okay. And let me make, just double check the camera, make sure you guys see what I, everything I do. And I think you do. Yep, you do. Okay, awesome. All right, so what I'm, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna take the water, I'm just gonna spray on it. Okay, there you go. And then I'm just gonna take this, just gonna lay it on the area that has it. Okay, let's go like that. And then just pull real fast. Okay. And that didn't work too good. <laughs> All right, so don't do this. Just just leave it. It's gonna come out. It looks kind of gulpy, doesn't it? All right, well, I'm gonna leave this for the video because you guys know I like to leave mistakes too, so. Um, I'm sure this is going to dry and it's eventually going to come off. This is really not ruined, ruined. This is just a topping, a topper. And it is fleece. So now we know what happens if you do this method with fleece. It doesn't work. Works great with fabric. doesn't work good for, with fleece. So let me just um, tug on it. It's okay. It's going to be fine. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Because you guys get the idea, right? And it's good that I do this and it messes up with me. So that way, one of you guys may be thinking that maybe this is a good idea. And then it just messes up. So, but anyway, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just for me anyway. But if you're going to sell these, don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. All right? You don't want to do that because then you're going to have this gulk on it. And let me give you a close-up so you can see what it looks like. See, like right here, see the O? See, there's like gulk. And yeah, you don't want that, okay? All right, so that, that method doesn't work with the fleece. So I'm just leaving the mistake because that way you guys know. Now for the tear away, I'm not gonna just tear this off. What, I usually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to just cut around it. Okay, because it doesn't matter, you know, just cut, but don't cut too close to the stitches because you don't want to unravel your embroidery, okay? So, yeah, there you go. All right, let me throw this out. All right, so we have this now, right? Little sticky, whatever. <laughs> All right, so now this, like I said, I want to put it around here, 
right and stuff now because i have left that opening here because you know and i i could have i could have done it a little longer but i wanted you guys to get the idea okay so i'm wrapping this around here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some elastic and i'm not gonna cut like all up here but i'm gonna cut just a little bit less because i do want this to stretch a little bit okay now you can do it one of two ways. You can put elastic on the top or the bottom, or you can just put it in the middle. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. That's all I'm gonna do. So I'm going to just, you know, you want a little bit of stretch in there, but not too much, okay? That, you know, cause you want it to, you want it to like pull so it's a little snug, okay? So, um, let's see. I know, I'm, and you wanna leave some cause you're gonna sew in there. And then you're gonna sew in here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut around here and that should be enough, I think, because that way it's a little bit on the snug side. So I'm just gonna take this much and how much is this? Because I know what somebody's gonna ask me, it's three inches. I cut it three inches, okay? And now I'm gonna go here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna just back and forward stitch on here because you want this to stay here, okay? And stuff. This is facing down, right? And let me put the. This was a bad idea. Don't do this, okay? Don't do that. Just, uh, just I say, just if you don't want to do the topper, don't do the topper. Um, you can't really iron this either. I wouldn't iron this because this is fleece, so I wouldn't put an iron to it. I think this is gonna burn. So I would just say, if you don't want to do the topper, don't do the topper, I won't worry about it because this is not really like thick, thick, okay? But I just wanted to put the topper because I thought it would stand out more. I know within time, this, this gunk will come off. So I'm not really like too worried about it because as you can see, as I am even moving it, it does come off, you know? Um, you know, so I, you know, just don't worry about it, okay? Um, but so that you guys look at that i'm telling you guys not to worry about it you see i'm still picking at it you know <laughs> and so because i like things to be perfect and it, and it did come out perfect for me but that's all right you know i prefer to make the mistake and look what i'm doing is i'm rubbing my finger on the o and as you can see the the it's coming out a little more clearer so i know that in time this will this is going to get hard and then it'll be easier for me to peel off and take off and stuff. But all right, so let me just force myself to leave this alone, okay? And let's just um, focus on finishing this off, okay? So what you want to do is you actually want this to stick out, right? So I'm just going to backstitch a couple of times. And you don't want this too close to the edge because then you, it could break and it could snap. Okay, so I just want this like a little bit, and how much is that? That's like half an inch, like half an inch in there. And I'm gonna go in, and then I'm just gonna go back and forward. There we go. And let's like pedal. Gotta put the pedal to the metal. Okay, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna go back and forward and, and let me shorten my stitches a little bit here. There you go. Just to get it in there. There you go. And then there, so you see nice and secure. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half, you know, just here. And then this is going to show me where the other one should go, right? Because you don't want it to be like this, right? You don't want to like, you know, be off. You want to be as close as you possibly can. It doesn't have to be like super perfect, but you want it to be close. So I already know that it's like around here, okay? So now what I'm going to do is make sure to keep this aligned. And then I'm going to put this in here, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just go back and forward, okay? Just go back and forward. I'm holding it. Okay, good. 
There you go. So I got this. All right. There you go. There you go. So now you have it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it on side the toilet paper. I'm going to put this around. Okay. So it's just going to, just like a little sleeve. You're just going to go around it. Okay. Just put it in. There you go. There you go. You just got to put it right. There you go. Nice and smooth. Nice and snug. There you go. All right, guys. So there you go. Except the only mess up that I have is the topping. I shouldn't have did that with the topping, but that's all right. And then I have some more clothes over here. All right, guys. So, oops, sorry, guys. <laughs> with the camera. All right. So, here we go. What do you guys think? Neat idea, huh? Very neat idea. Let me fix that here. There you go. So, I have my toilet paper cover. Okay, and what I love about this is that it's reusable. Okay, so if you know you did not embroider on the toilet paper, so you didn't waste any toilet paper at all. And then what I really like about this idea is that you can just take it out and put it on different rolls and you can reuse them next year. You don't have to like throw it out or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's a nice little way to do your thing. And, you know, I do see that, you know, it comes out a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, if you really want, okay, put a little scotch tape back there, okay? Put a little scotch tape back there because the thing is, it's just a decor thing, okay? So, you know, and like I said, there's other ways you can do this, okay? Um, the thing is to just make a sleeve. If you want, make it a little longer. You can snap it. Okay, you can snap it if you want. You can put Velcro if you want, okay? You, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. I just happen to have the elastic, so I just chose the elastic. And the thing is, um, like I said before, sometimes rolls, they, they come thicker. So with the elastic, I can't miss. So anyway, guys, hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and joining me on Fridays at 8 o'clock for Embroidery Happy Hour. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.